Thank you for watching this D-Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll cover the integration between the inventory and your Amazon online store. The main purpose of the integration is to ensure a seamless flow of sales data from your online store to the inventory application and then subsequently to your accounting app. So what are some of the benefits of the integration? The stock levels will automatically update from Deer to Amazon, ensuring that both the front end and the back end of your business have consistent inventory quantities. Inventory costs and movements are subsequently synced to your accounting application upon the orders being completed in Deer, and you get a centralized inventory management platform for all of your sale channels. So what is some of the data that's exchanged? Uh, sale orders are imported from Amazon. Uh, products can also be imported from Amazon and quantities uh, uploaded to Amazon. Uh, customer contacts and payments are also imported from Amazon. So once the integration has been established, uh, Deer will download products from Amazon. Uh, each sale from Amazon will first go into pending sales uh, in Deer and will have stock allocated. Depending on whether you choose to consolidate your orders or have them come through into individually, uh, the orders are then processed into actual sale tasks or actual sale orders within Deer. Stock level changes are then pushed out from Deer to Amazon and to other sale channels potentially. This is an optional setting. Uh, payments are also automatically allocated against sale orders if they're recorded in Amazon. So what is not currently supported? Deer cannot publish uh, products in Amazon given the current integration levels. Uh, refunds and returns are not supported and initial load of products from Amazon does not import stock quantities. Let's take a look at how to actually connect the two systems. The integration page header will contain the details of the data which is exchanged between Deer and Amazon and also provides you with some limitations about the current integration levels. You can read instructions on how to allow access to the Amazon uh, seller account and you can also read the full information sheet about all the integrational settings. To add the store you will need to navigate to the add new shop tab uh, which also provides you with the step-by-step -step instructions on how to connect to the store. Depending on which store you operate, US or Canada or Europe, you will need to navigate to one of the available links. The link will redirect you to the Amazon Seller Central where you will need to log into your account. Once you've entered your credentials, you will need to sign in and then select I want to use an application to access my Amazon Seller account. You'll then need to enter in an application name, which in this case will be Deer Inventory. And you will then need to copy paste the application's uh, developer account number. You can get that from the Amazon integration page in Deer Inventory. So for US and Canada, you will need to use the top and also the bottom one for Europe. Once you've entered these details, you'll need to click Next, accept the terms and conditions, and click Next again. Once the access has been granted for Deer, you will need to copy your seller ID and paste it into the seller ID field in Deer. You'll need to select a marketplace and also copy paste the authentication token. Once this has been done, you will need to connect to Amazon. At this point, you will be redirected back to Deer and you will need to continue the setup of the store in the Setup tab. You are provided with a checklist which needs to be completed before the integration will work properly and that set setup begins with uh, parameters for processing sales on Amazon. So you have the option to select when the order is captured in Amazon, when it's paid, unshipped or shipped. Uh, this will determine uh, the orders or types of orders which will be automatically imported from Amazon into Deer. You have the ability to consolidate orders into a single order for the day. You can select daily consolidation or no consolidation. When daily consolidation is selected, you will also need to pick a time uh, for the orders to be consolidated into a single order for the day, and you will also need to select a customer. Now, a customer needs to be selected uh, whether the consolidation method is selected or not, uh, as it is a required part of the setup. Here you can select a generic 
uh, customer and if that generic customer does not exist you can create a new customer. Once a customer has been selected you're required to enter your store time zone to ensure correct processing of orders which you will need to select from the drop down. The price tier option allows you to map a price tier from the Amazon product to a dear inventory uh, price tier when product download from Amazon occurs. You also have the ability to link uh, at the Amazon store to a particular location in Deer. Uh, this location will then uh, dictate the uh, inventory quantities uh, to the Amazon store and also uh, whenever sales are made uh, in Amazon, inventory will be deducted from that particular location. You have the ability to then automate the fulfillment process in Deer for the Amazon orders. So you have the ability to automate the picking, picking and packing, or picking, packing, and the shipment. This is especially useful in cases where the fulfillment is performed outside of the inventory, uh, potentially within uh, Amazon itself or through a, another application. Uh, in this case, whenever an order comes through from Amazon, it will be automatically completed, uh, given that there are sufficient levels of stock available at that time, and that order will then be uh, ready to be synchronized to your accounting application. The invoice status uh, drop down allows you to control in what state the invoices are created based on the sale orders so the, the invoices can either be draft or authorized. If the invoice is authorized it's ready to be synchronized with your accounting application. Processing products with identical names option allows you to control what happens with downloaded products. When you download products from Amazon you might have certain products that have the same SKU and have the same name. The setting allows you to either consolidate those products into a single product in Deer or create individual products for every uh, product which has an identical name. Those products might be created with slight variations because in Deer the SKU must be unique. You also have the ability to update stock levels in Amazon. Please ensure that you have entered all the correct quantities for inventory into Deer before turning on this option as it will override any existing quantities in Amazon. Once you've entered all the relevant information you can save the changes. Once a particular section has been completed it's marked with a tick meaning that it has been set up correctly. Next you have the ability to link Amazon in Deer tax rules. Um, please keep in mind that Amazon will always perform all the tax calculations and Deer will import these and apply uh, a relevant tax rule uh, to the tax which has been calculated. This section allows you to map the tax rules from Amazon to tax rules in the inventory so they can appear correctly on the invoices and are then sub subsequently synchronized correctly to your accounting application. You also have the ability to link Amazon payment methods to payment accounts in Deer. So you will first need to create an account in the accounting application that you plan to use, synchronize that account uh, to Deer, uh, and then have the ability to map that account to payment methods in Amazon. You need to make sure that the account being selected here has the ability to receive payments, otherwise this setting will not work. And last but not least, you have the ability to disconnect from the Amazon store. Please keep in mind that disconnecting from the Amazon store will wipe all the settings, uh, all the catalogs, uh, pending orders and, and logs that are associated with this particular shop. Once the setup has been completed, you can navigate to catalog. And within catalog, uh, you can see the current products that are either listed or not listed on Amazon. Um, so you can see the product name, the category. Uh, price, available quantity, and also status, whether it's listed or not. You can load products from Amazon using the load products option. Once the load completes, uh, you're notified of the number of products which were loaded from Amazon, and you can then view those products in the list. You can also control stock level syncing to Amazon for specific products. So you can open up a particular product and select do not sync stock level, which will overwrite the uh, main setting in the setup page. Whenever a sale is created in Amazon it is first placed into pending orders with stock allocated immediately. Deer checks every hour uh, whether there are any outstanding pending orders and then imports those orders into the section uh, in which they sit for an hour depending on whether they're consolidated or uh, not consolidated and then processed into actual sale orders. In order to load historical 
orders, you can use the load orders button and specify a date to which you would like to go back and bring in the historical uh, orders from Amazon. Once the orders have been imported, uh, you are provided with the number of sales that were found, number of new sales that were saved, and sales were just kept due to incorrect status. The pending orders uh, can then be uh, processed uh, manually without having to wait for the system to process them by clicking the process button. Once the pending orders are processed, you can view the orders in the log tab and you can actually access uh, individual orders uh, from the screen. Uh, the orders will also be available in the sale module and can be viewed under orders, uh, view all screen. To access individual orders, you can simply follow the relevant uh, task link. The sale order will be authorized and depending on the setup settings, the pick, pack and the ship will be in draft mode and the invoice will also be in draft. You can still make changes to the invoice if necessary. You can also perform undo, which will return the order to draft state and allow you to make changes uh, to the original order as well. If for any particular reason you would like to recreate this order from Amazon, you have an ability to void the actual order. This will delete all transactional data associated with the order. Uh, however, the order will remain in the system for reconciliation purposes. You can then return to the Amazon uh, log tab within DEER and delete uh, the particular log entry. Uh, deleting the log entry will ensure that this order can be reloaded again. The log is actually there to help prevent any duplicate orders from being created in the system. So once the log entry is gone, we can go to pending orders and use the load orders function. We'll then need to return to a particular date and click load orders. Once the load completes, we can see the number of sales that were found and the number of sales that were saved. So we can see that the four sales were processed earlier and one was deleted from the log entry and this allowed it to be recreated. So if I now wanted to process this order, I can simply hit the process button. And that order can then be viewed again in the log. Just one last point about the integration. In the Add New Shop screen, you're able to read an important note which provides a recommendation to disable open listings report uh, notification in Amazon to stop your email being spanned by Amazon notifications. Uh, Deer sends an inventory uh, report request each hour, so if you don't disable that particular report, you will get a notification every hour. The notification can be disabled in uh, Seller Central under Settings, Notification Preferences, or by following one of these links. This concludes the integration tutorial. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact support at deersystems.com. Thank you.